The member of parliament, Mawakota South, Mpiji District, Yusuf Nsibambi, has expressed concern over insufficient resources to enable children with vision impairment access quality education. He proposes to sensitize legislators on education committee to allocate funds for the blind children in the upcoming budget. This was during the launch of the Civic School for Blind in Buama sub-county within the funding from Babies Uganda. With courtesy funding from Babies Uganda Spain and partners including Vernon and Linda Webuk, Central Uganda has received the second modern school for the blind in Buwama sub-county, Maokota South in PG district. The launch of the school was officiated by the area member of parliament for Maokota South, Yusuf Sivambi. As members of parliament, we did not take this as a priority or we have not pushed enough. So I really promise that as we go along, specifically in the next budget, I'll try to put this on the floor of parliament to ensure that government funds uh, establish schools, whether private of this nature, and also establish such schools all over the country. Because parents in their respective capacities, they have no capacity really to fund such projects. The launching event was concurrently held with a mass led by Reverend Father Galandi Chiganda of Mitala Maria Parish, who urged Minister of Education and Sports to allocate enough funding to children with vision impairment and called upon parents to give them equal education. Parents who think that children with disabilities are a curse, we also try, we call upon you, dear parents, to continue seeing God's love and providence in these young children. Each and every child we get in life is a blessing. We can't compare a gift from God with a curse. So let us continue keeping them open, disposing them to different opportunities and also discovering their talents through taking them to school and also to different organizations. Bosa Chizito, the founder of Civic School for the Blind Children, observed that children with visual impairment are intelligent once given ample time during learning. When a disabled person is, a, is a not given the opportunity, they, they are very vulnerable. They are saying, let's give the disabled the opportunity to go to school such that they can live independently and productively. They only need an opportunity. Let's do that for them. We have a school which can give edu education very seriously. You know, at times people give half a dose. We want to give a full dose of education. The team leader, Babies Uganda Spain and partners, Maria Galan, was optimistic with proper allocation of resources for the school construction. If we are here is because everything that they have shown us is is true and and we can see it with our eyes because if it's not true nothing of this can be possible they started with they started with eight nine children now they are 52 almost so of course this is a very well done job Relatedly, the Rotary Club of Uziga Kampala launched a groundbreaking for the construction of a modern girls dormitory. Okay. 